So you thought using deodorant or antiperspirant was completely harmless, did ya? Well, did you ever stop to think exactly what kind of paint was being used in your kids' toys? It's a miracle how humans can even survive on planet Earth, considering how many elements there are out there trying to kill us. While many of these metals have some type of practicality, others just simply exist to bring upon destruction. Today, we're going to take a look at the most dangerous metals. Number 13. Hexavalent Chromium Hexavalent Chromium is an oxidized form of the element chromium in the plus 6 oxidization state which is recognized as a human carcinogen. It's found more often than not in industrial areas, especially in tanneries like Hazaribagh, Bangladesh, which can emit 21,600 cubic meters of toxic waste each day to the environment. It can also be found in textile dyes, wood preservation, anti-corrosive agents to paint, and other surface coatings. It can be transformed from heating up or welding stainless steel or melting chromium, so watch out. Number 12. Lead High levels of lead exposure can lead to fatality. Lead can build up in the body over a long period of time and can have frightening and painful results. The city of Pitcher, Oklahoma became highly contaminated with lead, which gave many a closer look at the symptoms. Teachers here would report severe learning disabilities, and for a while, no one could really figure out what it was. It became evident that the tap water here became mixed with lead that was being mined in the town. Sources of exposure can be from the following. Soil, household dust, pottery, toys, paint chips, cosmetics, Mexican candy, lead bullets, drinking water in Flint, Michigan, and mining. Many recalls have taken place from China because it was discovered that lead paint was being used on toys such as Hot Wheels. Number 11. Silver there's more than one reason you don't want to get a silver medal if you're competing in the Olympics. While silver might not be hazardous to the touch, ingesting silver orally can lead to bizarre complications. The condition known as argyria is often caused from high amounts of chemical compounds from the element of silver or silver dust making it into their skin. It's known to be able to turn your skin blue or a bluish gray. A 92-year-old man has a generalized form of argyria and you can tell from this photo how these chemical compounds have tragically affected him. It's visible over large surfaces of the body, but people with this condition can also appear to be in physically good shape, despite the strange skin color. Stan Jones, a libertarian candidate for the U.S. Senate, ingested large amounts of silver, thinking it had some kind of remedy with healing power. Strange but true. Number 10. Arsenic Arsenic is a chemical element with the atomic number of 33, which is also a number that holds much importance to the occult, such as the Scottish Rite. While this substance has much more importance industrially, it's also been known to be frequently used for homicide. For a while, people would use it to make their skin even more pale. Accidental poisonings have also been known to take place as early as 1858 during the Bradford Sweets poisoning incident where 21 people died from eating arsenic laced candies. A weaponized version of arsenic gas was produced in WW1, which was eventually dumped into the Gulf of Mexico for disposal. Arsenic was also used as a herbicidal agent in the Vietnam conflict in order to reduce foliage as cover. Recently, water bottles that were on sale at Target in the state of Georgia were shown to have traces of arsenic. This heavy metal certainly has the capability of causing some harm to our tap water as well. Number 9. Depleted Uranium We all know the harmful effects that uranium has on people and the devastating effects it can have once it goes through the weaponization process. Depleted uranium is a byproduct from enriched uranium which is used in power plants. In recent times, depleted uranium is twice as dense as lead, making it an effective ammunition and armor. The M1 Abrams tank uses depleted uranium for its armor, which has been a subject of concern for many people in the army. Americans were using depleted uranium shells in the Gulf War, and since then, they've noticed a huge increase in childhood leukemia among Iraqi citizens. Surveys have been conducted by Italian peacekeepers, who feel as though the increase in birth defects to Iraqi children is quite startling. This graph here shows the rate of a thousand births of congenital malformations observed by the Basra University Hospital in Iraq. Gulf War soldiers on the American side have reported subsequent health problems who report more immune system disorders and a lower birth rate among females who served in the army. Number 8. Plutonium We've seen plutonium portrayed in movies and on TV as a bright glowing oozing green substance. But does plutonium actually glow green like we've seen on the media? Not really. It does glow in the dark, however, and emits light. This substance is extremely unstable, energy is released, and its atoms fall apart whilst decaying. Plutonium reacts with oxygen in the air, which actually gives it a deep red color. The metal essentially burns when it's exposed to air. The quality is described as pyrophoric. 
There are some other elements that glow in the dark a little bit crazier than this one we'll mention later. Number 7. Polonium Possibly one of the most dangerous substances on the periodic tables of elements, polonium is quite strange because it's nearly invisible to all radiation detectors. Its radiation wouldn't even be able to penetrate a sheet of paper, which makes it possible to transport fairly easily. However, polonium will cause significant damage if only a little bit is inhaled or ingested. All it takes is ingesting 50 nanograms or inhaling 10 nanograms before suffering from severe radiation poisoning. In 2006, doctors in Russia were shocked to find out that a former officer of the KGB was administered five times the lethal amount in his teeth. This was the first case of polonium poisoning ever recorded. It was concluded that this type of polonium had to have been from a state-regulated nuclear program. Number 6. Mercury Mercury is all around us. It's in our fluorescent light bulbs, our thermometers, and even swimming around our oceans. It's also one of the most common metals that can turn cities into toxic wastelands. Look at New Idria, California, for example. The discovery of mercury here was important for gold mining, and this happened during a time when gold mining was sweeping through Northern California. The mercury is used to extract gold from gold ore, and it results in a much purer gold. It became an important mining location up until the mine closed in 1972, and people began to realize how toxic mercury truly was. The mercury got into people's water supply here and caused a shutdown of an entire city. Most cases of mercury poisoning are results of long-term exposure. For example, mercury is found in fish, and if you eat fish two times a day for 20 years, it leads to things such as reduced cognitive function, organ failure, muscle weakness, and also speech impairments. The slightest change of temperature with mercury will cause it to expand or retract, making it useful in thermometers. However, these thermometers are now extremely dangerous. Number 5. Aluminum Aluminum seems to be making its way into our food somehow, and while it might be useful for manufacturing airplanes, it's not so useful in our bellies. While small doses of this metal go relatively unnoticed, after a long period of time, it starts to build up into our bodies and starts to cause problems. Prolonged exposure can affect the body's musculoskeletal system, causing problems with the brain, bones, cause dementia, and even seizures, according to some sources. The recent studies on aluminum are making many wonder if it's worth wrapping up their potatoes in aluminum foil anymore. Pickles are another food that's hiding this element, and it's used for the pickling process. Many people are unknowingly exposed to aluminum in our antiperspirant, which has actually led to a lot of people stop using deodorant. There's also some outrage about aluminum being found inside vaccines. What do you guys think? Is aluminum dangerous? Let us know in the comments section. Number 4. Cadmium This massive hole in the ground in Butte, Montana used to be an extremely prosperous copper mine, but now it's filled with extremely toxic chemicals and you shouldn't go in the pool here. It's about a half mile in diameter and approximately 1,780 feet deep. Industrial chemicals such as copper, arsenic, cadmium, zinc, and sulfuric acid are all found in this pit at this toxic lake. Cadmium is becoming more and more common. Placed next to silver and below zinc on the periodic table of elements, many might have come into contact with this substance at a young age. It's often found inside old batteries, especially inside batteries used for remote controlled cars. It was also used for orange paint in trains, cars, and even for cookware. If mixed with sulfur, it becomes sulfuric cadmium, which is even more dangerous. This toxic mixture was actually praised by artists and used in paint by artists such as Van Gogh and Matisse. It might have even been used in your tattoos. Despite its toxicity, it's still a very useful metal that's used in electronics. Number 3. Americium A vital component of smoke detectors is a small piece of radioactive metal known as americium-241 and is cased in aluminum. This is the only isotope to actually find its way into people's homes. The only way it could be harmful would be if someone actually swallowed or inhaled it, which would be sort of strange if that were to happen. But over a course of about 30 years, it'll be reduced to a new element called neptunium, which is a byproduct of nuclear reactors. Since smoke alarms save people's lives, there's obvious reasons why you'd want something like this to always be working. Number 2. Thallium Thallium is considered to be an extremely poisonous substance, so poisonous and effective, it was even used in rat poisoning for quite some time. Not only is it very deadly, it's also tasteless and odorless. This made it gain notoriety as a murder weapon. Since 1972, the US has prohibited its use due to concerns about safety. It earned the nickname of the Poisoner's Poison and Inheritance Powder. It's fairly abundant and not too difficult to find in Earth's crust, as opposed to some metals on this list. It can be dangerous if you touch it, and thallium exposure is regulated in some workplaces. It used to be used for medical reasons and for the treatment of ringworm or other skin infections, but it was used in very small doses, of course. 
Anyone who's accidentally ingested thallium must immediately take what's known as Prussian Blue, which is a compound that absorbs thallium quite effectively. And number one, Francium. Considered to be one of the most radioactive metals, it's one of the most unstable naturally occurring elements in the periodic table with a half-life of only 22 minutes. It shows up as number 87 at the bottom of the periodic table of elements. Discovering this element was one of the most interesting parts about the metal. It also has a quicker half-life than any other artificial radioactive metal, making it quite lethal if you're exposed to it. Chances are you most likely won't be, because it doesn't serve any practical application for it. It's the heaviest of all alkaline metals without being synthesized. It was discovered by Marguerite Perret while she was working with Marie Curie during a time when no one really knew how to handle radioactive metals. Basically what they had to do was purify a sample of Actimium-227 and allow it to go through a process known as Alpha Decay. It was originally referred to as Actimium-K, but Perret had suggested that the element be named after the country of France. It's also extremely rare to come across and can only be found in trace amounts inside uranium minerals, 